Hey guys and welcome back. Hopefully you can hear me above the uh, rain on this uh, tin roof in the car park. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do a very short one today and I mean short, I mean you could probably call it a YouTube short because um, I just want to talk to you about a couple of little niggly things I needed to solve on my 900 convertible. You know how it is when you have uh, an old Saab and especially if it's your daily driver, um, things do come up and I've had to kind of get to a couple of things before they get worse. So um, let's have a look at one today. Welcome back to the Classic Saab Guide. So here is my 900 convertible that's been back on the road now for a few weeks since the beginning of spring. There was a couple of things that were coming up that I needed to get to at the end of winter and now is the time to solve them. One of which is this very obvious loose moving around uh, rear part of the exhaust system. I need to get to this now. So the first thing to do is to get the car up on the jack and you can see here I've put the spare wheel under the rear wheel just for a bit of extra safety. So you can see here the rear rubber mount has become very dry and perished over time and this has caused the exhaust system to move around a little bit. You can see here I've used a zip tie just to temporarily hold it in place a bit better. So if we look further down the pipe we can see here that the movement has caused the rear pipe to actually come loose from the rear silencer join the U-clamp there is not actually gripping, so I need to put in some exhaust paste in the join and tighten those bolts. So here you can see how bad this rubber mount has got, lost all its integrity. So we will replace it with this lovely new one. So with this join repasted and the clamp retightened, we should have a successful job. So yeah, job done, very strong and stable. A very simple job, but they need to be done too. So there you go, guys, just a quickie. But um, yeah, I do uh, have a, another problem, an electrical problem I need to get to, and I've just started editing a video for that. So look out for that one because I actually need some help. It's gonna be a bit of a cry out to see if anyone can come up with some solutions. I do not like doing electrics, so you guys know that. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And as always, see you next time on the Classic Saab Guy.